So a lot of people have asked watching some of my YouTube videos, what is your, what's that thing in your horse's tail? And so I thought I'd show you how uh, we put their tails up around here, just keep their tails in good order. And uh, especially around here, like this one here, he lives out in the, the pasture, out in the paddock, as you can see, and he's covered in mud. We have a, a type of dirt around here called, the locals call it adobe. Um, other people might call it black clay, but it's black and sticky. And when you walk on it, you end up six inches taller than you were before. Um, and so it's really hard to get out of there. So I like to wash their tails and put their tails up and so that they, they don't, um, don't get any of that stuff in their tails during the winter time. And so uh, all I do is I wash them, you know, I wash them with a really good shampoo and conditioner and then put, you know, some sort of um, silky stuff in there. I, all the products I use are Equifuse. I think they're the best um, horse washing products on the market, the best I've ever seen. Um, and so I wash it with the soap, wash it with the conditioner, and then I put the, what they call the serum and shine in there. And it's, it's kind of not slippery, but it allows those hairs to glide across each other and they don't stick to each other. And then all I'll do is just get some string off some hay. And I'll just tie it through the top of their tail. Like this, all I do is just put a square knot in there. Like that, pull it tight. I'm just going to take his tail here and loop it up through there like that. So it now looks like that. I'm just going to take some vet wrap here and start to wrap around it quite firmly. Now you want to stay away from the dock of their tails. His dock ends about there. So you don't want to put any pressure on that because you can cut off, that's got circulation, you can cut circulation off to it. But right below it you can do it like that. And all I do is just wrap them in bed wrap. Now the string is in there, not that there's likely to be any flies around here, but the string is in there in case there's any flies or anything, they just swish off themselves. They can do it, but they're just not beating themselves up with it. You know, a lot of times we used to do this with horses that were in a stall, you know, maybe during the day, during the summer, their tails swish back and forth and hit the walls of the stall and it beats their tails up and yet their tails end up getting all worn out. So, um, you can do it for that reason too. For me, mostly, it's just to keep the mud out of him. I actually, Bundy, my other horse, he's got a really long mane, and last year I actually did the same thing with his mane. I actually braided it, uh, and I tied a figure eight knot in it just so that, the, because the knot made this something, you know, there was something for this to hang on to, otherwise it'd slip off. And I put his mane up all winter time, but this stuff, when you use really good products, like say the Equifuse, we've had, we had a mare a couple of years ago that we put her tail up in the summer, and it was up for about two months. And we went to a horse show, a big raining show, and the day before Robin was going to school her, and I said, well, I need to take a tail out and wash it. And I took it out, and it just brushed out, and it was like it had been washed the day before. It was perfect. And that was after two months up like this. No hair fell out. It was just beautiful. So, you know, this video is just to answer you guys' questions that some of the people ask about what is that thing in their tail. So that's, that's what it looks like right there. They can swish, this, swish the flies, and we're all good.